بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اما بعد قال الله تبارك وتعالى ان المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات الى اخر الايه وقال تبارك وتعالى من عمل صالحا من ذكر او انثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياه طيبه ولنجزينهم اجرهم باحسن ما كانوا يعملون our respected mothers and sisters and also our brothers the ayats of the quran which i recited these are most commonly recited at the ladies programs at our sisters programs in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the fact that men or women males or females who have iman and they do righteous deeds then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised them a very blissful life in this world and a great reward in the akhirah so this is a quranic principle that reward in the akhirah success in this world is not restricted or confined to males but it is something that is equally applicable to males and females and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given females opportunities similar to that which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given males they are not disadvantaged in any way in terms of drawing close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making spiritual progress deen ul islam has given opportunities to not only males but also the females have been given ample opportunities in this beautiful deen of ours and one of the most effective ways of inspiration for our sisters is through the examples and role models of the pious women of the past we normally mention the examples of the pious men that also is a inspiration no doubt we take inspiration from the pious men of this ummah but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also kept the examples of countless number of pious women of this ummah through these pious women we can gain inspiration and it is not only inspiration for the sisters but even for the brothers for the sisters more so because often they feel that okay we speak about the pious men that is for men and the men can do those things where can we do those things so therefore we will cite the examples of the pious women so that through the example of the pious women we can be inspired and we can follow their examples and we can strive to emulate their lives and we can try to render services to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a similar way or even to some extent of the kind of services that these sisters had rendered in their time So I would like to inshallah comment a series on the lives of many pious women and females of this ummah that their biographies can serve as a kind of a inspiration for the sisters of this day and age and that they realize that progress in knowledge of deen in piety in righteousness in akhlaq e hasana is not only the domain of men but it is very much so the domain of women and sisters as well we have generally in front of us the role models of the azwaj e mutahharat the pious mothers of the ummah they are the super role models of the women of this ummah the wives of nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam azwaj e mutahharat ummahatul mu'minin they are obviously the super role models in terms of piety and righteousness of the women of this ummah we have the daughters of nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are the super models in terms of piety and righteousness we have the sahabiyat they are also great role models for the women of this ummah but beyond the azwaj e mutahharat and the banat e mutahharat and the sahabiyat there are indeed many other such pious women of this ummah that will be beautiful role models for the sisters of this ummah